Hello students my name is Dr Priya Mahajan today we will study the marginal utility we will also cover the law of diminishing marginal utility diamond water paradox and law of equi marginal utility in this session in explaining consumer behavior economics relies on the fundamental premise that people choose those goods and services they value most highly to describe the way consumer choose among different consumption possibilities economists a century ago developed the notion of utility from the notion of utility they were able to derive the demand curve now we will learn what is utility dr alfred marshall the great british economist has introduced the concept of utility to explain the tendency of the consumer to buy more units of goods at a lower price and less units of goods at a higher price utility is defined as satisfaction that a consumer derives from consuming a good or combination of goods so want satisfying power of a good is termed as utility when an individual has a desire for a good or service and when he get it his desire is fulfilled thus utility is also defined as fulfillment of desire higher the intensity of person's desire to have a good higher is the amount of utility he would derive from it for this reason the first cup of tea would give more amount of utility than the second cup the concept of utility derived from a good to different people would depend upon taste habit place time and other circumstances utility is therefore subjective for the same person utility of a good may be different at different times for example utility of a woolen sweater is greater during the winter than in any other season having explained the concept of utility we now turn to some quantitative concepts related to utility used in utility analysis like total utility and marginal utility before we explain consumer's choice of good with marginal utility analysis it will be important for us to understand the meaning of total utility and marginal utility the total utility of a good is the sum of utilities derived by a person from each unit of the good consumed as an individual consumes more units of a good the total utility he derives from consumption of good increases here we consider the consumption of a tea in a winter season how a utility of an individual increases with more cup of tea in a day in winter season is shown in table number 1 you can see in this table that the first cup of tea gives him 12 utils so the word utils here are used uh, as our amount of measurement of utility so when he takes the second cup of tea his utility from two cup of tea rises to 22 utils the total utility is the sum of uti utilities from a given number of units of a good thus the total utility from consuming two cup of tea has risen to 22 although the second cup of tea has made less addition that is only 10 utilities to the total utility it can be see from table number 1 that as a consumer takes more cup of tea in a day his total utility goes on increasing until the 6th cup of tea thus his total utility rises to 30 utils on consuming 3 cups of tea to 36 utils on consuming 4 cup of tea to 40 utils on consuming 5 cups of tea and 41 utils on consuming 6 cups of tea but more than consuming 6 cups of tea in a day his total utility decline because consuming more than 6 cups may have adverse effect on his health thus with consuming 7 cups of tea in a day total utility declined to 39 utils and with 8 cups of tea it declines further to 34 utils the increase and decrease in total utility from a good is a universal phenomena 
it holds goods for every ordinary economic good and for every ordinary consumer so the change in utility is given in the table number 1 it will be seen from this figure that up to the consumption of 6th cup of tea total utility curve is rising and beyond this it starts falling now marginal utility is different from total utility as we saw total utility is the total satisfaction or a benefit a consumer get from consuming a number of units of a commodity though it is total utility that matters for consumer but for the analysis of consumer's choice the economist consider it useful to focus on marginal utility so marginal utility is the additional utility that the consumer derive from an extra unit of commodity amount of other goods consumed by him are held constant marginal utility can be written as mun is equal to tun minus tun minus 1 where n is any given number of units of commodity tun for total ut utility of n units tu n minus 1 for total utility for n minus 1 units thus the marginal utility is the addition to total utility due to the consumption of an additional units of a of the good marginal utility can be expressed mathematically as mu is equal to delta tu divided by delta q where delta q is the small change in the quantity of a good consumed it is generally taken to be equal to 1 and delta tu is the change in total utility the concept of marginal utility can be easily understood from table number 2 it will be seen from this table that when the consumer takes two cups of tea in a in a day instead of one cup his total utility increase from 12 to 22 utils this means the consumption of the second cup of tea has added 10 utils to his total utility therefore marginal utility of the second cup of tea is 10 utils further if the consumer increase his consumption of tea per day from 2 to 3 cups his total utility increases from 22 to 30 utils that is the extra utility which he get from the third cup of tea is equal to 8 utils thus 8 util is now the marginal utility of the consumption of third cup of tea per day as we get seen as we can see in table uh, number 2 that more than consuming 6 cups of tea his total utility declines and therefore marginal utility becomes negative that is more than consuming 6 cups of tea given give him displeasures and economists say that extra cups of tea beyond 6 in a day produce this utility for the consumer so this is about the total utility and marginal utility now we will study the law of diminishing marginal utility Gosson was the first to formulate this law in 1854 though the name was given by Marshall this law is also known as Gosson's first law one of the fundamental ideas behind demand theory is the law of diminishing marginal utility you have studied the law of demand in the previous sessions law of demand is based on the law of diminishing marginal utility This law states that as the consumer goes on consuming more and more unit of good the marginal utility from it goes on diminishing however as you consume more and more your total utility will grow at a decreasing rate Marshall who has been the famous exponent of the cardinal utility analysis has stated the law of diminishing marginal utility as the additional benefit which a person derive from a given increase of his stock of a thing diminishes with every increase in the stock that he already has now again consider that that table where we have uh, presented the total and marginal utilities derived by a person 
from cups of tea consumed per day when one cup of tea is taken per day the total utility derived by the person is 12 utils and because this is the first cup its marginal utility is also 12 with the consumption of second cup per day the total utility rises to 22 but marginal utility falls to 10 it will be seen from the table that as the consumption of tea increases to 6 cups per day marginal utility from the additional cups goes on diminishing that is the total utility goes on increasing at a diminishing rate however when the cups of tea consumed per day increases to 7 then instead of giving positive marginal utility the seventh cup gives negative utility equal to minus 1 this is because too many cups of tea consumed per day may cause health issues thus the extra cups of tea beyond 6 to the individual in the question uh, gives him this utility rather than positive satisfaction we have graphically represented the data of the table 3 in figure 2 as we can see in the figure that the length of total utility curve is increasing up to the 6th cup of tea whereas beyond 6th cup total utility declines in other words marginal utility of the additional cups up to the 6th cup is positive whereas beyond the 6th cup marginal utility is negative the marginal utility obtained by the consumer from additional cups of tea on declining which shows that marginal utility from the additional cups of tea is diminishing this downward sloping marginal utility curve has an has an important implication for consumers behavior regarding demand for goods the significance of the diminishing marginal utility of a good for the theory of demand is that the quantity demanded of a good rise as the price falls and vice versa thus it is because of the diminishing marginal utility the demand curves slopes downward but it is worth mentioning here that marginal utility of money is generally never zero or negative money represent purchasing power over all other goods that is a man can satisfy all his material wants if he possess enough money since man's total wants are practically unlimited therefore the marginal utility of money of to him never falls to zero next we will study the concept of diamond water paradox the concept of marginal util utility is of crucial significance in explaining determination of the prices of commodities the discovery of the concept of marginal utility has helped to explain the paradox of value as adam smith was very surprised to know that why water which was so very essential and useful to life has such a low price while diamonds which were quite unnecessary for life that is its usefulness or value in use for consumer in consumers was very low had such a high price he could not resolve this water diamond paradox but the concept of diminishing marginal utility helped us to resolve this value paradox according to modern economist the total utility of a commodity does not determine the price of a commodity it is the marginal utility which determines the price of a good the water is in abundant supply so its marginal utility is very low hence price is also low on the other hand diamonds are scarce in supply and therefore their relative marginal utility is quite high and this is the reason why their prices are high next principle which now we will study is the law of equi marginal utility the law of equi marginal utility is also known as gossen's second law law of substitution 
law of maximum satisfaction and law of indifference law of equi marginal utility states that consumer will distribute his money income between goods or commodities in such a way that the utility derived from the last rupee spent on each good is equal in other words consumer is in equilibrium position when marginal utility of money expenditure on each good is the same so the marginal utility of money expenditure on a good is equal to marginal utility of good divided by the price of goods in symbols it is written as mum is equal to mu x divided by px where mum is the marginal utility of money expenditure mux is the marginal utility of commodity x and px is the price of commodity x so it can be uh, stated as marginal utility of money expenditure is equal to marginal utility of commodity x divided by the price of commodity x the law of equi marginal utility can therefore be stated thus the consumer will spend his money income on different goods in such a way that marginal utility of money expenditure on each good is equal that is consumer is in equilibrium in respect of the purchases of two goods x and y when mu x divided by px is equal to mu y divided by py now if uh, mu x divided by px and mu y divided by py are not equal and mux divided by px greater than muy divided by py then consumer will substitute good x for good y as a result of this substitution the marginal utility of good x will fall and marginal utility of good y will rise the consumer will continue substituting good x for good y until marginal utility of commodity x divided by price of commodity x become equal to marginal utility of commodity y divided by price of commodity y when mux divided by px becomes equal to muy divided by py the consumer will be in equilibrium let us illustrate the law of equi equi marginal utility with the help of an arithmetical table 4 given on your screen so in this table you can see the units and the marginal utility of two commodities that uh, that is commodity x and commodity y let us assume that the price of good x and y be rupees 2 and 3 respectively reconstructing this table by dividing marginal utilities of commodity x by rupees 2 and marginal utility of commodity y by rupees 3 we get a new table that is table number 5 suppose a consumer has a money income of rupees 24 to spend on two goods it is worth noting that in order to maximize his utility the consumer will not equate marginal utilities of the good because prices of the two goods are different in other words he will equate marginal utility of x commodity divided by price of x commodity with marginal utility of y commodity divided by price of y commodity while spending his given money income on the two goods by looking at the table it will become clear that marginal utility of x commodity divided by price of x commodity is equal to 5 utils when the consumer purchases 6 units of good x and marginal utility of y commodity divided by price of y commodity is equal to 5 util utils when he buys 4 units of good y therefore a consumer will be in equilibrium when he is buying 6 units of good x and 4 units of good y and will be spending rupees 24 on them thus in the equilibrium position where he maximizes his utility marginal utility of x commodity divided by price of x commodity is equal to marginal utility of y commodity divided by price of y commodity is equal to marginal utility of money expenditure thus the marginal utility 
of the last rupee spent on each of the two good purchases is the same that is five utils consumers equilibrium is graphically portrayed in this figure 3 since marginal utility curves of good slope downward curves depicting marginal utility of x commodity divided by price of x commodity is equal to marginal utility of y commodity divided by price of y commodity also slope downward thus when the consumer is buying oh of x and ok of y commodity then mux divided by px is equal to muy divided by py is equal to mum therefore the consumer is in equilibrium when he is buying 6 units of x, com x commodity and 4 units of y commodity no other allocation of money expenditure will yield greater utility than when he is buying 6 units of commodity x and 4 units of commodity y suppose if the consumer buys 1 unit less of good x and 1 unit more of good y this will lead to the decrease in his total utility it will be observed from figure 3 that the consumption of 5 units instead of 6 units of commodity x means a loss in satisfaction equal to the shaded area a b c h and figure and from figure 3 it will be seen that consumption of 5 units of commodity y instead of 4 unit will mean gain in utility equal to shaded area k e f l it will be noticed that with this rearrangement of purchases of the two goods the loss of utility a b c h exceeds gain in utility k e f l thus his total satisfaction will fall as a result of this rearrangement of purchases thus when the consumer is making purchases by spending his given income in such a way that mux divided by px is equal to muy divided by py he will not like to make any further changes in the basket of goods and will therefore be in equilibrium situation by maximizing his utility this condition for the equilibrium of the consumer will hold even when a consumer spend his money income on several goods thus mux divided by px is equal to muy divided by py is equal to mun divided by pn is equal to mum so this is about the law of equimarginal utility an extension of the law of diminishing marginal utility a very important law in economics stated that the consumer will distribute their limited money between the goods in such a way that the utility derived from the last rupee spent on each good is equal so learners this is all about this session bye and happy learning